Next, the story of a split-second decision, the kind of choice that is made in an instant that defines a person's character. Christopher Phillips died over the weekend in a two-car crash on Highway 94 east of Ellicott near Colorado Springs. When an oncoming driver veered in front of his car, the state patrol believes Phillips swerved to save his girlfriend who was sitting in the passenger seat. Nine News reporter Kevin Torres is in the Springs tonight. And Kevin, aside from the state patrol, Phillips' girlfriend tells you she knows he was trying to save her. Mark, she says that's just who Chris was, the sort of guy who put someone else's needs before his own. This kind of story never comes with a happy ending, but the chapters leading up to it are filled with so many wonderful memories. He was a lovely man. He, he really was. The final chapter of Christopher Phillips' story ended the way it started. He put everybody before him. And if you turn the pages back just a year, you would have met a man who fell in love with a woman who became his best friend. He and I met at a kind of a tough time in my life and I, um, through his friendship, felt safe. It was his love and his family he cherished most. There, so close and so warm. At the end of last week, Christopher Deb and his son Shane traveled to Oklahoma to visit Chris's father who had suffered a stroke. He felt at peace with where things were. On the way back to Colorado, the three drove quietly in Chris's car, not realizing what was up ahead. We were happy. Everybody was happy. Deb remembers the loud noise and then this. I felt the blood on my face and I looked over and and he, his eyes weren't open and I, 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 I reached over and I touched his face and, and I put my finger on his lips and I, was, and I I didn't feel him breathing. Stunned by what had just happened, she stumbled from the vehicle. I was just so overwhelmed with him being gone that I, that I, I fell down in the ditch and then there were, then there were people all around me. At that point, Chris's son had been rushed to the hospital. Deborah followed and stood by his bedside. He just said, come here. And I, I leaned down real close to his, his lips with my ear and he, and he just whispered, I love you, and I'm sorry. And, and I realized that that was such a beautiful thing to do. Shane believed what his father believed, to put someone else's needs before your own. One of his favorite lines was, if your friends are friends of love, then your friends are friends of mine. And that was Chris. Colorado State Patrol says the other driver should have not veered into the lane. However, this does not appear to be an intentional crash. They say that drugs and alcohol were not a factor as well. As for that driver, he will likely be ticketed. Mark, most of the family, Chris's family, knows about the crash and his death. Aside from his father who suffered the stroke, the doctor said it's probably not a good idea to tell him just yet. Very sad. Kevin Torres reporting live in Colorado Springs. Kevin, thank you.